Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review. Have you heard of a company called C Seed? I had never heard of this company before until today. Well, a couple of days ago when I read the story that I'm about to tell you about. C Seed is a Vienna, Austria boutique company that specializes in ultra. And when I say ultra, I mean ultra to the max, luxurious, TVs for indoor and outdoor settings. The company was founded in 2009 by Alexander Swatek and Jacob, and I am going to destroy these numbers because they're Austrian and not Austrian here, as you can tell. And Jacob Odgard and John Sterak. Well, I guess those weren't too hard. Uh, they were, they, the two of them used to work at Bang and Olufsen, which now is they're better known as BNO. Because I guess it's easier to say BNO than Bank All of Sin. Yeah, BNO is easier. These guys got together to create super high end, luxurious, crazy design electronics. And so here we have something that I wish I could get in my own home. And that is probably going to be a wish for the rest of my life. But they, they created this, uh, this what is called the CCM1 4K 165-inch TV. It's the first unfolding indoor TV. And this is what it looks like. Now, as you can see, the TV pops out of the floor, supposedly by just the push of a button. It will come off and unroll or expand uh, within seconds. It is made out of machine aluminum. Supposedly, it's very silent. It unfolds into a 165-inch screen, which is just an incredible size screen. So they have a, their own system to do the um, unfolding of the TV, which is called Adaptive Gap Calibration System, or AGC. It's an automatic distance measuring and calibration system that creates totally seamless, seamless foldable 4K 8K TV surfaces, free from any visible gaps. That's what makes say so when the TV is completely unfolded, you get a one screen without any lines in between, without sections, I guess you could call them. That is, it's just the fact that you can do that and have the TV without any sections to just have it all flat like a regular TV, that's that's really cool and a big accomplishment. The TV comes with a soundbar, which is completely integrated within the system. And it makes sense. I mean, if you are getting a TV like this that pops out of the floor and unfolds into one thing, to then having to add your own soundbar will be kind of silly. So it will make sense that it has everything integrated on that thing. The soundbar is integrated within that base. That base looks pretty big and um, it has to kind of be to support all the weight of a TV rising and then unfolding, especially if it's aluminum, as it says here. Like that's that's got to be pretty heavy equipment. Now you're probably thinking, wow, how much does this TV cost? It can't be that expensive. Well, that's where you're wrong. The TV is, as I said, 165 inches mini LED 4K TV will only cost you 400000 Dollars. I'm hoping that that price includes the installation price and not just here's your TV, have a good day. Because four hundred thousand dollars for a TV, even just even with the trick, okay, it's still too expensive. Now, for the specs of the TV, the TV is going to be a 4K TV, not 8K here. It's going to support HDR, HDR10+. It's also going to house C seats video processing, which I don't know anything about. It's supposed to be a 16-bit screen though, so that's pretty good. But there's a, there's something that I am not impressed at all with this TV because for its price, I will say it comes under-equipped. So this TV is only going to have one HDMI port. Yes, $400,000 gets you a cool TV that unfolds but you only get one HDMI port. And it's not even an HDMI 2.1 port, it's just a regular HDMI port. So you're planning on taking advantage of that newest HDMI 2.1 features, this TV isn't going to have it. I am wondering, you know, how much it will be to, to, to pay someone to create a mechanism that kind of does the same thing with an OLED TV. Technically, if you can pay for $100,000 <laughs> for one of, for a 160 inch TV, 
you can probably get like an 80 inch TV OLED, you know, and 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 pay somebody to make the mechanism for you to to do it. But of course, you're paying for the name of the company and the cachet of having a TV that does all these things. My th- my thinking will be that if you are selling a device like this that's supposed to be luxury and everything and cutting edge in design with electronics and all that, that you will want to pack the best electronics that you can into this TV. That means HDMI 2.1 and not only one HDMI port, but four HDMI ports at least and all support HDMI 2.1, 120 hertz refresh rates and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm talking about, right? <sighs> So there you have it. This is a really cool TV with some downsides. And not only the price, which is the price of a home in some places, but the fact that it has, you know, it it is kind of lacking in the department of uh, technical features. What do you think about this TV? Do you think it's a TV that if you had the money, you would pay money for? Do you think it's overkill? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, it really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.